Welcome to another episode of Chatting with Stacks. I'm your host, Bill Stacks, and today I got Anthony Ramundi. What's up, Anthony? Good, Bill. Good. What's going? I'm good, man. Yeah. Let's check the <laughs> chat. See how the people are doing. Yeah, I got so I got how, a little surprise been? for the people. <laughs> you got a surprise for the people? What's good, man? Connection's good tonight, right? Don't, don't, don't jinx it. Don't say nothing. <laughs> now it sounds like you're underwater, man. <laughs> and then who am I going to tell you, Stacks? I got to get the other thing. I got to get the Shout out to Double Dare. Shout out to J Dubs. What's good, man? Is everybody ready for a little, this, a little shocker? Yeah, what's up? Well, you know, this week that I'm going to be going to Los Angeles, to California, to confront Lee Cole, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Cinemills TV is paying my airfare and everything, you know, my, my travel expenses and everything. And they're paying Lee Cole travel expenses and airfare. I saw the show. He's going on trying to get money from people to go to L.A. That ship was already paid for by Cinemills TV. He's trying to beat people out of money. That's crazy, man. Move your phone. A, move your phone a little bit. I think you're covering the mic or something, man. It sounds crazy. What? Now talk. Can you hear me? Yeah, you sound a lot better now. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let me. What's up, man? Stevie Bullets yeah. in the house. What's good? Yeah. <laughs> BT said show. Alley Boy slap, slapped uh, Ramundi in Coney Island Club. Tell BT to suck my fucking dick because that guy was never in there and that was my rabbi. Ramundi, Ramundi, run, stop talking like that, man. Please don't talk like that on the show, well, man. All right. I apologize because this moron keeps saying the same thing. He's using different people's names that did this to me and Coney Island did that. This kid don't know what he's talking about. First of all, Ali was dead. So I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Ali boy was dead, and Junior's son was in prison. So who is he talking about, this asshole? You got me. I don't know, Well, you man. know, you tell this brother, BT or whatever, if he thinks he's so tough, let him come and meet me and try to smack me in the face. How's that, tough guy? I'll so, meet you when I come back I don't, from I don't know who he's saying. Who's he saying? Ali boy Persico slapped you in the face. That's all what I could think of. Because this guy don't even know what he's talking about. He's trying to he want he wants to open up his mouth and talk. So all right, so let me let me give the people the rundown. Let me give the people the rundown. So you're going to Burbank, California to meet uh Cinemills to do an interview, and there's a guy supposed to be coming there and they paid his airfare, all his travel expenses, and he's trying to go on the internet and act like he needs money to get there. Right? Correct. Right. That's that um typical uh it's that typical uh con man shit. You know who it is? So I'll yeah, tell I you. It's Lee Cole. Lee Cole's trying to get money from everybody to go to LA. Meanwhile, everything was already paid for by Cinemills TV. And I called Cinemills today and told them the show that I seen. That Lee Cole trying to get money from everybody. Then Lee Cole has the nerve. He got in touch with Cinemills and says, I'm working with Fat Ball Sicilian against him. I don't even talk to Fat Ball Sicilian. Boston Red the second says beg to. Lee Cole's got a big surprise coming in on when I get there Thursday. When we get into the studio Friday morning, he's got a big surprise. Stuff that I know about him. And as far as me calling him a pedophile, Josie said he was a pedophile. Yeah, don't, don't, Josie just don't talk like that. Server. Scott, just, just don't talk like that on my show. Please, man, just don't talk like that on my show. Well, Josie's the one who put the name on. I it. don't care. I don't care. Just don't talk like that on my show, man. I don't want that type all of, right. uh, I don't want that type of energy over here, man, at all. Like, okay. at all. So, um, uh, do you know, do you got any connections with Nikki Scarpo? 
Do I have any connections with him? No. I met him a couple of times years ago, but I have no connections with him now. BT says uh, Ramundi's going to get exposed. BT, tell him he's full of bull, number one. Nobody ever smacked me in my face and car. Tell BT if he's so tough, I get back Friday. I'll meet him Saturday or Sunday in Coney Island. Let him try to smack. Let him try to smack me. He's so tough. Any connections he's with an John idiot. Gotti? What? Any connections with John Gotti? No, I met. I mean, I met the guy once or twice, but no connections with him. That I did business with him. No. No. BT. Luke P says, uh, bro, Ramundi is the man. I got his back. BT. His BT, connection's wait, good wait, tonight, BT. man. His connection's really good huh? tonight. Yeah. All right. So, so uh, BT. this is the this guy, guy with BT, connections BT, with everybody that helped system. kill the Pope. What? He say said, that again? He said, is this the guy with the connections that everybody says killed the Pope? Who said that? I'm reading you the comments, man. This guy said, "Oh well, I never said I killed the Pope." So is this guy? Book, is this guy's connections me. with everybody right. he helped kill the Pope allegedly? Read my book and you get the real story. But there's people going around saying that I killed the Pope. I never said that, and I never wrote that. I never wrote that, and I never said it. This guy, yeah, the captain said. Uh, this guy, the captain said, if he calls you uh, that word, he, he's gonna kick your ass, Ramundi. Who's every, gonna kick every, my ass? Everyone's a gangster in the comments. Lee Coast, he says. Ass? He says that this dude has proof that you weren't made by the Columbos. Who's this, Lee Cole? Yeah, supposedly he has proof that you Lee weren't Cole? made by the Columbos. I wasn't made by the Columbos. I was made by the Bonanno family. That alley boy brought me there because the books were closed in the Colombo family, which if you read the book, I told you it's in the book. And Carmine Galenti, who was my grandfather's cousin, is the one that straightened me out and shipped me over to the Columbos. Now, are you going by the little kids in the Colombo family that are now in their 40s that when I was around, they weren't even born and some of them were maybe two and three years old? that they weren't allowed to come into the diplomat lounge on Cavill Street and 3rd Avenue. Now they all want to be gangsters and tough guys because the family needed men and they put them in through their relatives. Please. Please. Go save, go save that for somebody else. Go save, go save that for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> Everybody wants to talk. This dude says, was uh, uh, Lansky a savage? As they say he was. He was a businessman. He was a businessman. He was a gentleman. But he was as deadly as they come. And everybody who said that Maya Lansky wasn't in, well, let me tell you. Aunt Small when says that you're the best thing with... on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. When. What's when good, Bobby right Barbarian? Book, How you doing? Uh, the crackling starting, man. The crackling starting. I hear it. I hear it creeping in, bro. Don't jinx it. When, let me tell you. I hear it. They were doing the book on me. They were writing the Ghost Rider. They had to get, they looked up everything. And Maya Lansky was in New York, in Brooklyn, to be specific, in 1978, like I said. All right. And that they got from the FBI files. So everybody wants to talk. All you got to do. You got a connection. You got a good lawyer. You can get the FBI files. You can get off. Uh, you can get all the surveillance pictures on me, who I was around, who I was with. I ain't worried about none of that stuff. I know what I done. Any thoughts on I John A. Light? Any? What's your thoughts on John A. Light? Do you even know who he is? I never met the guy. I never met the man. Just like. You got somebody going around saying that I said I was in Marine Reconnaissance. I never Shout said out Freshwater DJs, DJ St. Joe out in Minnesota. Shout cool. out to J-Dubs. 
Same thing with Sammy the Bull. He was originally with the Columbos, but was shipped to the Gambinos. Uh, all right. All right. Sammy was only there for a short period of time. Not a long period of time at all. Very short time. And when Bro, Sammy... This dude says, who cares, dog? Everyone is so busy trying to expose everyone. I have no ties to no life He's at right. all. Get the fuck right. out of here. But remember one thing. Sammy was straightened out with the Columbos. And then, like I said, and like the guy said, later on, they shipped it to the Gambinos. So that was a common practice years ago. Because a lot of times the family couldn't make somebody because the books were closed for that family because they figured they made too many guys in a couple of years. So you would go to another family, ask them for a favor. They would make your guy, ship him over to you. But if they came to you and asked you to make one of their guys to ship him over to them, you had to be reciprocate and do the same thing. Did so you ever hear of anything? Done. Did you ever hear of anything about where Hoffa is buried? Did I hear anything about where Hoffa is No. The only thing I had heard from Mother, they said that they put him in one of those big insulating furnaces and he's gone. You know, like one of the ones where they melt the cars. That was what my father told me. This guy, David, says, everybody is your uncle. Everybody is your cousin. You're always related to somebody. Not always related to somebody. These people are to my grandfather's back from the old country. That's all it is. And they're cousins from the old country, from Italy. This guy Edward says, well, you're telling me Carmine made him? What, say that again? This guy's saying, you're telling me Carmine made, made him? Carmine Galenti. It was Carmine Galenti. He was my grandfather's cousin, and he was the boss of the Bonanno family. And Big Alley Boy Price ago went to him to get me straightened out in 79. After everything went down with the Lufthansa and all that other nonsense, because they put a moratorium or they put a stopper on the Colombo family for making guys for a couple of years. They went to Carmine Galenti. We went to my grandfather. My grandfather gave the okay. Carmine straightened me out. It was on uh, Good Friday, 1979. And they shipped me over to the Colombos, where Ali Boy wanted me. Did you ever uh, meet um, Bruno and Delegato? And did you ever have any dealings Who? with him? Bruno and Who? Delegato? No. No, I never had no dealings with him. Shout out to Stevie Bullets, man. What you got to say about Chicago? Do you know any guys in Chicago? I have some relatives out there with the name of Mundy. And uh, I had a guy out there. Uh, was it Ignacio Jufre? He was out there, and uh, Ignacio Leone, where when we did the stock fraud, I brought the stock of that to Chicago Mercantile back in the early back in '75 when we did the stock scam with the Vatican. And that's in my book, also. Ron Gross says, I love the stories, imaginary or real, crazy stuff. Well, it's the truth. The only thing I don't like is when people change my words. Like they think they like they, they never read the book or they listen to some moron talking and they change the words around. Like a lot of things I said, and I never said some things in there. I don't hide from what I did. See, did you ever? Ran out. Did you ever hear of Richard Kuklinski? Or did you have any yeah, dealings with him? I never met him. I heard of him. I only heard of him when I heard of him on the TV being on the radio. Let me explain something to you. Everybody <laughs> talks about with the book, right? There's a statute of limitations. Everything I talk about in the book, statute of limitations is gone. Nobody can get in any trouble. The only thing there's no statute of limitations on is murder. That's the only thing there's no statute of limitations on. You could have committed a murder 50 years ago. If you talk about it now, you will get arrested. But everything else, statute of limitations is gone years. Statute of limitations go runs from five to seven years. Once it's over with, you can say whatever you want about certain things. Can't cause no problem, no trouble. Did you have any connections in any strip clubs when you had your businesses going and stuff like that? No, strip clubs, no. I had a couple of clubs. I had the Rich Man Poor Man Club. It was in Brooklyn on uh, East 15th Street between Everywell and Locust Avenue. I had a piece of the Desiree Club on West 6th Street and King Highway. Maximus Club on 77th Street 
people on 13th Avenue with Michael Bellino. The uh, the uh, couple of the uh, Twice as Nice. I had a little piece on Twice as Nice. The Electric Circus. I had a piece of that. It was in 15th Street and 5th Avenue in the city. My lawyer at the time, George Valerio, he was one of the guys who had the place. If you want my email, it's in the description of this video. If you want to email me, just go to the description of this video and you could get my email. Why does everyone And then we had a piece of like after hour clubs, you know, throughout Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, all over the area. Yeah, like after hour clubs where you have card games going and gambling going in. I've been talking to Chad Marks. I was involved in a lot of gambling. So heavy gambling. So that was shout that out, was you shout out to Chad Marks. Marks, Blood on the Razor Wire, too. You were involved a lot in gambling, you said, right? Definitely. This dude says you're going to embarrass that guy that's coming to see you. Thank you, Shine Box. There's I appreciate that, I man. Tell Ramundi I'm making. Making uh L and B for <laughs> for some pizza. He's going L and B. Yeah, he said tell Ramundi I am talking uh I'm taking him to L and B for some pizza. <laughs> he said okay, he well. said he's gonna take you to L and B for some pizza, man. <laughs> when I get back from LA, no problem. No, there the intro was on the beginning of this video, man. Go back and check it. It's there. Yeah, you uh, sent you sent Lee Cole three hundred dollars for the trip. That's crazy because they already paid for the trip. He didn't need any money for the trip. Paid for. You got played no for your money. He got he got uh he he already got paid to go over there. His stuff was all paid for. He doesn't need no money. If he's saying he no. needs money for that trip, he's playing you guys. He's lying. He can break it. He Shouldn't can break it to you. Bills paid for bills his trip and everything. He paid. They paid for all his travel expenses. That's sad, man. It's sad that he would do they're that. They're flying him in. They're flying him out. Just like Cinnabills paid for mine. It's already set. I'm not going out there looking for money. Slee Cole is a beat artist. He's a con man. Did you know like Harry Mo things. Harry Mooney, the porn king? No, no, I never. I wasn't involved in the porno industry. No, my main thing was gambling and bookmaking and Sherlockton. Want to talk? Hey, Liz. Lee, want to talk? Lee? Shout out to Liz. What? Shout out to Liz. What's up, Liz? Is that Liz C? It's my Liz. Zach. Huh? Yeah, it's my Liz. No, I said hello. You, tell, you can tell her. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Kevin she D says, says you're the Lee best stand up county in the, in the, you're the best stand up comedian in the country, man. Kevin D says that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Make people laugh, that's fine. People want to believe what I say, fine. They don't, they don't. I don't care. I don't give a shit. You know what? I, I never claim to be better than anybody. I never claim nothing like that. This is what I've done with my life. That was me. You believe me, fine. You don't, you don't. I know what I've done. I know where I've been. Check FBI surveillance pictures. You'll get everything you want. What's and your no favorite pizza shop? What's your favorite pizza shop, Ramondi? Truthfully, have one. I don't eat pizza that much. I'll be honest with you. Chris Webby, really Jay Webby, what's up, man? Shout out to Jay Webby. Thank you for watching, man. I appreciate everyone who's in here today. Grambino, what's good, my friend? How are you? I just want to tell everybody one thing. Lee Cole is backing a guy, and uh, is backing a guy that is against this country. He admires the Taliban, and he has much respect for them. And I got audio right here. I got the audio of the guy saying, and the guy's always on the internet, bad and me. But the guy, Lee, called back to me. The guy who's doing, should I tell who should I say who the guy is? 
Nah, man, don't give him no light over here, man. No, no. Okay. Guys in train. So here's what we're going to do. On Sid Mills, I'm going to play the tape of the guy that he admires the Taliban, and he has much respect for them. And Lee Cole backs him up, and so does um, one of the guys from the Green Beret that uh, Steve Anston, who he hid. This is a serious question right here, man. Boston Red the second has is he so he's related to to Galante Castellano, uh, Castello, uh, no, no, Luciano. No, no, no. no listen, let me you explain. Re- Galante was my grandfather's cousin. They were my relate. They were my grandfather's cousins. I got two grandfathers: my grandfather Antonio and my grandfather Frank. There was, he was there, that was, was their cousins. My father, Frank, you had, it was Costello, whose real last name is Castiglia, and you had Neil Jellicroce. That was my grandfather, Frank. Those were his Stone cousins. Sailor says hello, yeah. Ramondi. What? The, the Stone Sailor says hello. No, I said hello. Now, my grandfather, Antonio, Carmine Galenti was his cousin. Now, Uncle Lucky was my grandfather's cousin. He, my grandfather married Lucky's half sister Nancy. Then he became my grandfather's brother-in-law. Now I called them my uncle because you got to remember these guys are like 30, 40 years, fifty years older than me. So out of respect, I would call them uncle. You know, what kind of cigars do you smoke? Is. This is my blend that I have on my company. I own a cigar company. And I own the Tony Soprano. I own the Bada Bing. I own the Scott. I own all the big names on there. This is my company I've had years ago. And I had them down in Coney Island. I have them in Florida. I have them all over. I know. I don't know why it breaks up every time, man. I think it's uh, <laughs> the interfering gods always messing with the show. Yeah. And my company called Gangster Cigars is closed because I'm in the process of doing a deal with some people, we're going to open up the Gangster Cigar Club probably beginning of next year. We're going to open New York and, and one in Florida and possibly one in Las Vegas. Oh, so you, you're going to open like a cigar bar, like a lounge. No, it's not a cigar bar. They're going to be cigar clubs. In other words, <clears throat> when you walk in... Yeah, cigar bar, a man. It's a cigar lounge. You smoke cigars right. there, right? You smoke cigars there, right? No. You're not letting me talk, Jack. No, you're not getting that club. <laughs> you go in, you got your lounge area where you would smoke your cigars. You got another room you're going to go to where you can drink, you can have something to eat, and you can dance. It's two separate rooms. It's called the Gangster Cigar Club, it's going to be called. Oh, so it's not It's not a cigar a lounge. It's, it's like a club, basically. The club. We're talking about a club that's going to hold like 600 people. They're going to. Was it? Put one in New York, but do one in Florida and possibly one in Las Vegas. When's that supposed to happen? We should have them open by next year. The latest will have them open by next June, June of the, of uh, 2023. They say, uh, they say they've seen you on several interviews, and his story always stays the same, and he never stutters. They see me in the in Astoria, <laughs> I can't That's ask him that, like man. <laughs> Sorry, bro. What? Calandra says Ramondi is your number one cast. Nah, he's what a good friend, say, man. He said you're my number one guest. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ramondi says stacks up. Jimmy Collins, that the guy that is that the guy that said he wanted me to come on the show? Yeah, yeah. On his show? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I get back, me, you, and him will go on the show together when I get he, back from he, L.A. Stacks, are you going with Anthony carry his luggage? Nah, no. <laughs> Not this time, man. Stacks is a no luggage carry. Stacks is a friend of mine. Nah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a friend. We're not, I don't carry luggage. I carry my own luggage. <laughs> What's good, big boy Blue? How you doing? Hey. What? <laughs> Stacks, you're the only guy I know that could go away for two days and carry 
and have three suitcases with you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm trying, man. Yeah, a- yeah, go away and come back with more suitcases than I left with, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Full empty and one of them is full when you come back. <laughs> yeah, I leave I leave with empty bags and I come back with full ones. <laughs> that's it. I don't know what happened. The chat just disappeared. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be interesting out in LA. Let me tell you, this is gonna be interesting, without a doubt. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be quite interesting. Laugh. You know what makes me laugh? He gets in touch with Cinnamon's TV, crying to them, Lee Cole, that I'm in cahoots with Fatball Sicilian to go against him. I don't talk to Fatball Sicilian. I don't have his phone number. I'm not on his show. So we so we did come across, we came across the show, we came across the show that uh, Gunsmoke the Don did, talking about how Lee Cole was taking money from people when he... Yeah. When he doesn't need it because they already paid for everything, he does not need the money for the trip. So I don't understand. Shout out to Jimmy Calandra. I don't know why the chat just disappeared. All the comments that you guys put, they just disappeared for some reason. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff Lee Cole. Lee Cole wants to sling dirt. I got a lot of shit to sling at him, and I got audio that I'm playing also that he can hear. Because if he says, oh, no, that wasn't said, well, here, let's listen to the audio tape. Beep. Oh, gee, who's that? Oh, that so that said so that. Lee's got to understand something. He's got a lot of skeletons in his closet. So he can't afford to talk. And he's done a lot of bad, he's got a lot of wrong things. This guy said, Ramundi said he had killed 600 people in Vietnam. <laughs> I never said that. They all got to exaggerate. It makes them feel good to exaggerate. What are you going to do? Got to get money for gas. He's not driving there. He already got the ticket. They bought the ticket for him. Like, the, the, the trip's already paid. flying in. The ticket, everything's paid because for, so there's in. no reason. Like, it's crazy. But whatever. Hey. Lee Cole's flying Jimmy's in. Jimmy's a great friend. He is a great friend. He's a great guy. Kick his ass for Monday. Live and let live, said. Who said? Liz? Someone uh, said, uh, Graham Vino know, said he's yeah. driving. He's not going to fly, I guess. He's going to drive. He's driving? Bullshit. They paid for everything on him to fly in. He's driving. Well, he's driving. He's not flying. That's what everyone's saying. Oh, everyone's got- saying he's driving. Then the Mills TV paid for everything for his transportation. They paid all- he said he's oh, he said he's driving right. because he's unvaccinated and he can't get on the true on, on the um he can't get on the plane or something. That's what oh, they're. Shit. I've been on the plane. They didn't even see my vaccination card. So who's he kidding? Took an Uber. He's gonna take an Uber <laughs> to California. Oh, he took the tickets and cashed them in for the. Money, that's crazy. That's crazy. You say he's driving because then if they get him a ticket, so I don't understand. I'm calling bullshit. There's a lot of changes of the stories, man. Listen, he already canceled this thing how many times? Like three different times. Twice. So we call twice. 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 You you were ready both times, right? What? You were ready both times when he canceled. Yeah, of course I was. They didn't want to turn around and told me we canceled. You can't go this time. We canceled again. You can't go that time. This time he's there. So no problem. Man, let me tell you something. See, Lee thinks that he can intimidate me or scare me. I ain't scared of you, Lee. You made a threat <laughs> one time. You said, I'll shoot. Watch what I'll do to you. Oh, man. We lost Ramondi. Cinemills paid for his rental car. That's insane, man. Well, we'll find out right when it comes down to it, and we'll see what happens, I guess. Everybody's going to see what happens. Uh, Ramundi's back, so let me bring him back in. 
Can you hear me? <laughs> He's trying to get in. Hold on, man. Just be patient, bro. <laughs> you could hear Ramundi swearing in the background trying to get on. Come on, man. I think you have a bad connection from Monday. Let me get you off the screen before, before he says some shit. You're trying out for America's Got Talent. For what? What would I try out for that? Stacks? Ask for money if you had ever considered for America's Got Talent. For what? A comedian? <laughs> he probably did just punch his computer. Hit that like button, everybody. I appreciate that, Dead Flowers. that like button thank you ron let me see if he's coming in here ramundi can you hear me hey ramundi yeah let me i'll just have him call just like you said what's up primo how you doing man let me call him Hey, you're on the you're on you're on the air, bro. Yeah, the phone went out. What happened? Yeah, you're on the air right now. Good. All right. Oh, you came back in. Are before. you good? Is the video working? No, video's not working. It went out. All right. Well, you're on the you're on the phone, so. All right. We we got about five more minutes, so. All right, good. What do people want to know? Tell me. All right. So hold up. Let me get some. So Lee Cole's not vaccinated. I don't know. I, I, Shit. Must be the word on the block. You better stay six feet apart. <laughs> he been, let me tell you something. He, been, he opens up his mouth, what he's going to do to me. I'll take care of you. I want to see you come to my face. I'm going to do this, do that. Well, you know what, Lee? Pick your hands up to me. Pick your hands up. That's all I got to tell you. I, I, I can guarantee two things, Lee. I won't. I won't. I will not call the cops on you, and I won't sue you. But he's going to try to push my buttons where I put my hands up to him so he can sue me or he can call the cops. Because he's a punk, he's a rat. Oh, i got to tell you something else. A friend, a, a couple of people that did that interview with me from, uh, it's called uh, Rocksteady in uh, Australia. Yeah. He got in touch with them, and he filed complaints with YouTube because they had me on and because of things I said about it. He's a freaking rat. He filed two complaints on them. Two. Not one, but two. Thank you, everyone, no, for fun. watching. I appreciate it. Hey, did you have any dealings with Michael Francis? Or do you have any comments about him? All I say about Michael Francis is I wouldn't be surprised if he's putting a lot of these people up and doing this to me because I wrote a lot of things about Michael that things that he said weren't true because I was there and he wasn't. That's why. And I said that. And I said, Michael Francis, I met him twice. It was a whole lot of goodbye. And that's as far as it went. But there's things that he said that he kept changing his story. And a lot of people caught it. And I said, he's lying about certain things. What about um, um, Sonny Francis? Didn't you have some dealings with him? Sonny, I knew him. He knew my father good. He knew a lot of the guys in the family good. He was close with TN. Tony Napoli he was close with him. Sonny, this guy was the most respected guy you could ever find. Believe me. Stand up all the way. Right to the end. Right to the end. And if you check, and Ori Spader will tell you the same thing. Shout out Michael to Ori Spader. Go, kind of go check out Accidental Gangster, Ori's book. It's a pretty good book. Yeah. Did you read that book yet, Anthony? No, I didn't get No, I didn't read it yet. I didn't read it yet. Better go but buy a copy, man. You better go buy a copy. Yeah, 
I got one already. Go Sonny was the most stand up guy you ever wanted to meet. Go, su- go support Ori. Everyone in here should go support <laughs> Ori Spado. Go buy his book on uh, Google. He's a good guy. Great guy. Ori, he's a, he's, he's a great guy, Ori. Michael hates him, but that's that's whatever the problem is between them two. People are asking if you knew Sammy Gravano. No. I did not know him. Like I said, I met him once. That's as far as it went. It's like, hello, this is Sammy. Sammy is Anthony. Hello, hello. And that's as far as it went. I did not, uh, I did not associate with him. He was with a different crew with the family altogether. Uh, Luke 37 says, Ramundi is a stand-up guy. He's no rat. Listen, let me tell you something. I never ratted on anybody. I never testified on anybody. I never went to court, never put my finger, never wore a wire, never signed a profit, no nothing. Nothing. No, I could ever say I got them in trouble. But you got some jerk off on the internet who, being I mentioned, you got somebody, you know that kid who kept telling you that uh, Ali smacked me? Yeah. That moron mentioned the guy's name in Coney Island. And I turned around and said, the guy's a friend of mine. I said a friend of his or a cousin of his tried to shake me down. And when he, when he came to see me, he says, Anthony's a friend of ours. And right away, this guy says, oh, he's a rat, he's a rat, he's a rat. Meanwhile, the guy who's saying it is the same guy who's working with the FBI. And he's the same guy who says he admires the Taliban and has much respect for them, which means he's a traitor. And that's the sissy boy I told you about that I found out that he was gay because he was trying to pick me up to make all this problem go away about my book. And in South Beach, they call him the Queen of South Beach. How is your um? How's your um? Cancer treatment going? Very good, thank you. It's coming very good. Oh, let me. I'll let everybody know who this guy is on what we do the show in uh, L.A. Primo is asking. And Lee Cole backs him also. So Lee Cole, you might as well say he's a freaking trainer also. Because he goes to bat for this guy. <laughs> Lee said he's gonna bitch slap Anthony if he calls him the P word. <laughs> Let him. I'm gonna tell him. We're gonna the see. Girl, girl, we'll, uh, Joe, we'll, Joe, we're gonna Joe, all see. Can... Yeah, don't what? don't say it, but um, yeah, we'll all find out. We'll oh, see Joseph what happens. Shout out to Double that. Dare. Go check out Ismail the Phoenix and Hurricane coming soon. New single. What's right? He can't take that. His girl. Joe, well, I don't understand one thing. Josie talked about him and bad mouthed him and called him all these things. Now all of a sudden she's friends with him. Josie, please allow to be desired, sweetheart. You better find better friends. I don't know about nothing about that, man. But he'll stab her in the back again. Do you know any relation to uh Tony Mera or Tommy Patera? Am I related to that? No, no, no like uh, any dealings with. Did you know them? No. no, I never had no dealings with them. They're going to hit each other with their canes, someone said. <laughs> Carmine S. said, you guys are going to hit each other with your canes. What cane? I don't use a cane. Well, you're going to hit them with your walker. <laughs> I don't use a walker either. <laughs> when I get dressed up and I go out, I carry what they call a walking stick. That was like, if you ever seen... Uh, if you ever see what was that guy on TV? Um, uh, Matt Masterson, he used to carry a walking stick. I yeah. carry something like that sometimes. Were you, were you in the Army or the Marines? We got trained at the Marine Corps base, and I was brought into the Army in the 3 7, which is infantry. Ori's book is a real good book. Shout out to Ori. Go check his book out, The Accidental Gangster. Make sure you say Stack sent you there. I just want him to sell some books. He got a great story. I've read his book a couple times. His story is incredible. Go check it out. It's like brings you back to a different time in America when all this stuff was going on and he like paints a picture for you when you're reading that book. It's definitely a page turn. Have you read his? You didn't read his book, you said yet, right? No, I didn't read it yet. No, I'm going to. Yeah, it's really good, man. It is really good. DiNapoli, true gangster. 
is it? Like I said, they don't want to talk. So uh, right. this, Jerry says, I want Anthony's book, but I want signed. Can I get Where can I get it done? If they said, uh, where did they live? Do they live in Brooklyn or they live where? If you send an email, he he could probably make that happen for you. Just send an email. The um email's in the description of this video if you want to um just email and I'll I can make it happen Listen, for you. If they uh if they they get the book and they send it to me, they send it to my office. I'll autograph it and I'll mail it back. To you. Um, if you you want the paperwork, you gotta wait for uh that show to happen. And I don't know what's gonna happen at that show, but. I know it's going to be some good stuff. Now, let me tell you, I've been on the fl I've been taking planes back and forth for the last, what, four months. Not one time did they ever ask me to take out a card to show that I had my vaccination. Not once. And you flew how many times? All right, two, two, four, six, eight times. Back and forth. And they didn't ask me. Yeah, can I had to take it's my bullshit. license out, show my proof and stuff. Yeah, take the mask down so they can see my face. That's as far as it went. They never asked me for my vaccination card. Never. And on the flight, you have to wear a mask on the flight while you're on the flight. Yeah, the whole time you're on it, right? Right. You got to wear a mask. Exactly. So with him saying he's driving because he can't fly, let me tell you, I spoke with Cinnamon Mills today. They told me. They paid for his transportation, his complete transportation, going and coming. They paid for it. But I told them he was trying to get money from people. And they said, you got to give it. I said, no. Nope. They said, tell everybody. We paid for everything. This whole transportation going and coming. That's crazy, man. All his travel, they paid for all his travel expenses, so he lies. Did you know Joe Gallo? Did you have any dealings with Joe Gallo? No, I, I knew Joe Gallo when I was a kid. My father had a dealing with him a long time ago. What's up, RV Docs? How you doing, man? Hey, you want to give a shout out to anyone before we go, man? No, not really. I've probably about done what I want to say. But uh, just the audience, thank you for listening, you know. And uh, it's going to be an interesting show out in uh, L.A., because like I said, I'd like to know what phony paperwork he got or he had guys make up or whatever he done. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, and I'll tell you one thing with him. All he call is he either wants to sue you or he wants to call the cops on you. That's <laughs> what he wants to do. Or he's, what, he's gonna, what? Liz says, Ori Spado um, is fabulous. Great book. He was in Vegas last weekend with Vanilla Ice. Shout out to Vanilla Ice and Ori Spado. Ori Spado, yeah. Ori Spado's a cool guy. He's a great guy. Um, Primo. Shout out to Primo. Ali Kabar, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to Jerry. Luke, 37. Make sure you hit that like button. Story has been debunked. <laughs> Somerville, shout out to you. Jason, shout out to you. Wise Guy TV. There are people that serve that don't have a DD-214. There, there are people who, are, who had to go from court who don't get that right to have um, follow-up from that type of thing. But that's not my... Um, that's not my avenue of expertise. Right. Well, like I said, when I was in, I was under the jurisdiction of the court because the courts put me there, and I got released through the courts because when they released me, well, rather when I came back to the States, back to the world over here, they sent me back to the MCC in Manhattan, the one that they built, and the next day is when they brought me into court before the judge, and they released me, and they did what they did with my records. But we were not, we were convicted felons, but they wanted us. They brought us all over not to do work that we had to do. And that was all it was. No big deal. I don't claim to be no hero. I don't do no, uh, I don't wear no uniforms. I don't wear no badges. I'm not claiming to get money from the, the uh, from the VA. No, nothing. I did what I did. My reward was that when I came home, my record is gone. No record. I'm free and clear. That's why when I got my arrest, 
in 19, uh, the next arrest I got in 1977. When I got that arrest, it went down as my first arrest with organized crime. And like I tried to explain to everybody, there was back then, there was what they had, the, uh, it was called the uh, Youthful Offenders Act. Up to 24 years old, you were tried as a youthful offender. Look it up. A lot of people say no, 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 but they don't know what they're talking about because they never heard of it. All right? And they could only give you a certain amount of time on these crimes. Now, if it was murder, you'd get the maximum as a, a life sentence, 100 years, 200 years, whatever. Yeah, but you had murder, then you had murder, right? What? You had murder, didn't you? No, what happened with me, when I shot Sally, when I shot Sally Burns, now, right, we worked it out with the state that... Didn't you say... Me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Didn't you say it was Sally Burns' cousin? Yes, yeah, Sally Burns' cousin. So why... How come when people ask you about Sally Burns getting shot, you always say Sally Burns. When I shot Sally Burns, every time someone asks you, you say that. You say, I shot Sally Burns. Well, yeah, but you say, all right, Sally Burns, Sal Grinello, the guy who, the old man who got whacked, <clears throat> had a cousin, Sally Burns, also. And they had Jimmy Burns and Frankie Burns. But his name was Sally Burns. But it was his cousin. It was Sally Burns' cousin. But his name was Salvatore Burns or Salvatore Grinello, also. So the so the guy that you ended up shooting, his name was Salvatore Burns as well. Sally Granello. Is they called him Sally Burns. Like in my family you have three Anthony Raymondis. There's three of us with the name Anthony Raymondi. Some of the women name name themselves after the women in the family too, right? Is that is that right? right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I mean, that's it's... I try. I try explain. I explain it in the book on who it was that I shot and everything like that. I explain all that in the book. But you know what the problem is? Some people either they don't understand what they're reading, or they don't know how to read, or they just want to make up their own story. Who wants to go on a kidnapping spree? <laughs> oh, uh, who, uh, the guy you're Lee going to Cole. meet. <laughs> what? Lee Cole going to go on another kidnapping spree? Oh, I got to make you laugh. So, so yeah. when, when we, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is big. I forgot to ask you. So when will you be able to put this together with the Stone Sailor? When will you be available for that? Because we got to make that happen. When I get back from LA, I'll tell you what we're going to tell you what we're going to do with it. Depends on what else I got to do. All right. right. But Stone Sailor's got to understand. He can't be hogging the whole show and not make the talk. <laughs> Shout out to the Stone Sailor. So we definitely got to make this happen. You got you're you're going on this trip. You're leaving. Uh, when are you leaving? Thursday. You're leaving Thursday, so we'll be able to do it next week, right? Depends on what my schedule is next week. Shout out to FBS. FBS is in the building. Oh, I gotta make you laugh. Also on uh, on uh, on the Gunsmoke show. Yeah, shout out to Gunsmoke, too. Check out Gunsmoke and Tell FBS. Gunsmoke, if you remember, people were saying that Lee Cole shit his pants. He soiled the seat in the car when the cops were chasing him. I don't know nothing about that. It's on Gunsmoke's show. People wrote in and said that Lee Cole soiled his seat. He did it in his pants while the cops were chasing him, that he was in the car. I don't know how true it is, but it's on his show. People wrote in. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, the the person in the chat is the fake Ramondi, the real Ramondi's right here. So, um, thank you for joining me tonight, man. I can't wait till I see the Cinemills um yeah. episode when it comes out. I appreciate you always coming on, and uh, no problem. I'll talk to you soon, man. Thank you. All right, bro. That's both you like. All right, later. All right, bye bye. Thank you guys for coming on and uh, checking out Ramundi. Um, we're going to see what happens. Shout out to Steve. What's good, Steve? How you doing tonight? So next week, we're going to set up the show with Stone Sailor and Ramundi. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens with that one. I, I'm pretty sure that that one is uh, pre-recorded and they put it out later. I'm pretty sure they're not going to put it out live. But they could probably charge pay-per-view with that and make some money off that because I want to see that shit. 
They need to keep the cameras rolling all times, though. Uh, he's calling back. Hold on a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, notification bell so you can get my videos every time they drop. Till next time, man. Peace.